Today we're trying out a new recipe from the Van Leeuwen cookbook, black sesame ice cream, but of course it's infused. For my infusion today, I'm gonna to be using an eighth of some Lance from Ridgeline Farms. The nugs are actually type small, but trust me, there's some high quality outdoor type shit. And I'm just using one cup of some grapeseed oil since it doesn't really have a taste compared to if you use olive oil and it's way easier to properly dose than using milk itself, right? So now let's go ahead and infuse uh, in the Levo at 190 for five hours. I highly recommend doing this shit the day before. Now that we got our oil ready, let's go ahead and see how potent it is. I'm gonna put a small amount on this testing tray and insert it into my T-Check device. And it's gonna tell me how strong it is within seconds. All right, so just let it run for a quick sec. 45 milligrams per teaspoon, not bad. Now the recipe calls for you to make your own black sesame paste, but that's the most and I'm way too high for all that shit. So I copped a pre-made one from this Japanese supermarket and it's pretty much the same shit, bro. Just put that shit over some heat, mix in some sugar and you're straight. It should be nice and thick when you're done, just like this. Now let's crack six eggs and start to separate the yolks from the egg whites themselves. This shit kind of big messy, so just make sure you got the trash nearby so you're not making a big ass mess. Then once you get all shit together, you're gonna wanna add in 25 grams of sugar and then mix until that's fully combined. We're gonna put that to the side until we come back to it later. Next, let's measure out a pint of some heavy cream or two cups and then one cup of some whole milk. And yes, you need whole milk, gang. Now make sure you go ahead and take the scale out, measure out 100 grams of some white sugar and then a quick pinch of some salt. Now let's get a double boiler going, add in some of our milk and cream mixture and the sugar and just go ahead and wix that until the sugar is fully dissolved into the liquid. Before you start freaking out about not having a double boiler, it's just a mixing bowl over a big ass pot of boiling water. Trust me, my nigga, you got these tools at the crib. Now be sure to not overcook this. You'll know it's done once it starts to slightly simmer on the edges. And so go ahead and take that shit off the heat and put it off to the side. Now grab that egg mixture that we did earlier and just slowly go ahead and ladle in some of that hot dairy. Make sure you do it one scoop at a time. This is what's called tempering. So the whole point is you don't wanna go ahead and rush this process because otherwise you're gonna end up with some scrambled eggs and be back at the supermarket trying to eat that ED's bullshit. Now let's get that back on a double boiler and just keep stirring with a wooden spoon this time and you'll know when it's done once it's pretty much thick enough to run your finger through the back of the spoon and it stays separate. Now let's remove that from the heat one last time and place that bowl in an ice bath. Just make sure you keep stirring that to make sure that the mixture cools down consistently and not just in the sides. Then pour it into a big Ziploc bag and then just go ahead and store it in the fridge for like four hours or even better overnight. Now take your ice cream machine, turn it on and start adding in your ice cream base. From there, we can pretty much get started with adding all of our special ingredients, starting off with the black sesame paste. And then last but not least, the weed. Uh -huh. Now I only use one teaspoon, but if you want a more potent batch, just go ahead and add more, but just make sure you do it while it's running so it can mix nice and thoroughly. Once it's done churning, go ahead and take the ice cream and put it in the container to freeze overnight. Now go ahead and take the ice cream out the freezer and just let it sit out for like 10 minutes just so it can soften. I know my scoop was looking a little crazy, but just let me live. You know what I'm saying? We just still new to this. Yeesh! And there you have it. Van Leeuwen black sesame ice cream, but infused. But more importantly, how's it tasting and how's it feeling? Mm, that's a 10. Two hours later. Nothing changes, still the same thing.